Let me get personal with you. You know I like to show show everything. I don't think it was a good egg. You get a bar. You get a bar. Oh, this feels good though. I regret everything. for myself when I say my metaphorical cup of well-being is empty and it feels like it's never gonna be full again but I want to make a video where I just show you all the little things I'm doing to fill up my cup and be good again because we all get in that place when you look at social media you see a lot of what looks like a lot of full cups and the reality is that there's a lot of filling in between. Everyone gets empty sometimes. And girl, I just need to get my groove back. So this video is just gonna be like a hangout with me, getting my groove back in hopes that you see that not everything in everyone's life is perfect, even if it looks perfect. I don't think my life that I show on social media looks perfect, but yeah, I'm definitely, in a little bit of a low right now, which is normal, and we're gonna do some external things. Like, I'm gonna get my nails done. My daughter is turning two in a couple weeks, and you know, I, 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 I externally wanna feel pretty bomb.com for that. Also, my new hobby, I recently got into painting. It's never too late to start a new hobby. I honestly started painting because I wanted a hobby that wasn't cleaning, binge watching a show, being a mom, researching mom stuff, or my work. Even though like my work is a creative outlet, I love what I do, but I wanted like, I wanted a hobby. And just all the things in between I'm doing to take care of me. Because you gotta take care of you if you're taking care of other people. Because you cannot give to others as well as you can if you are not in a good place yourself. And I know a lot of people, including myself, like to run yourself into the ground while holding everyone else up, but at some point, you're gonna be crushed. So, I got you. Let's get our group back together. Let's go. I, I am a hot mess right now. Like, I have cute loungewear. Why do I put on the non-cute loungewear? It just feels, Better when you feel bad to be in the ugly clothes. What is that? Hello from future me. This is three days later. And yes, you will see how I got from where I was to where I am now, what I did to fill up my cup. And thankfully I did because my daughter had nightmares last night and I probably had like four hours of sleep. But because I was working with a full cup, I, I'm making it through. I'm feeling refreshed, calmer, cozy. If you can see my outfit now, it is from Naywai. I have talked about them so often because I love them so much and you guys, I literally have not had a negative response from anyone who has purchased any of the Naywai products, especially the Barely Zero line, which is like my go-to favorite. They are sponsoring today's video and I wanted to pop in in the beginning and mention my promo code. I have been obsessed with them for postpartum, breastfeeding. If you're pregnant or if you are like deep into your journey of like finding yourself, they have the most comfortable, versatile pieces. Let me get personal with you. You know I like to show, show everything. This is the new and improved Barely Zero Fixed Cup Clasp Bra. So you have a little bit of room here on the band size. The other version, which you some people might like better, has no clasp, but I like the versatility of this. And I am obsessed with the fact that the lining inside is fixed. The other version, you could take the padding in and out, which has its pluses, but I like that I don't have to think about throwing this in the wash and like, you know, the cups moving or having to take them out. 
it is so comfortable and so seamless if you do like a wearable breast pump for nursing this was like my go-to bra I'm currently probably a 32 a and i'm wearing the extra small small and i would say their bras are so versatile with sizing which is also why i like them if you are pregnant postpartum nursing because your boobs fluctuate a lot in size and i think i could probably still wear this size if i was like a 32 c there's also a new addition to the barely zero line which i will try on for you right now this is the barely zero wavy bra so you also have the fixed cups in this one and if you like a seamless back you have this option which has no clasp which makes it ultra ultra comfortable like good lounge around the house the other thing i love so much that they did is their underwear is so comfortable but it was mid-rise in the past and now we have a high rise option which after having a baby I love a good high-rise option. It just feels like comfortable. Like I like that support. If you're already a fan of Naywai or you haven't tried them before, definitely this is the time to check them out with my code for 25% off. I will have a link down below to Naywai.life. And now let's hop into filling up my cup. Cody. No, what happened? Uh, we're running errands right now, and I just got a, like a long line for in and out, and she fell asleep. Oh. Jesus, you scared me. I was in the shower, and I just popped out. I thought something was... Uh, well, I guess you gotta drive around for the next hour and a half, and have her take a nap, or you're gonna have a tired baby. Bye. So I tidied up a little bit. Huh? But what I really want to do and what would make me happy is to put together my daughter's birthday gift bags for the other kids that are coming. I did show this in my last video, my Amazon haul, but I did not put the bags together. So let's do that now. If you did miss my last video, the theme for my daughter's birthday is too wild. So everything's like animal themed. I'll link down the things I found below or you can just go watch my amazon video someone said that i should put some little snacks in there too i think we're having six or seven kids come which is really exciting and i have enough gift bags so good look how cute these are we have a giraffe we have an elephant we have a monkey I'm gonna start with these should I take them out of the wrapper? No, I think that way they look sanitary, right? This one, this one. Then we have these little animal faces, which I think I'm gonna have out as an activity too. But should we match it? Oh my God, do these not fit? No, they fit. Okay. Should we match the animals to the animal or mix it up? Let's mix it up. We have these little stickers, which will also be an activity at the party. I'm gonna put some snacks in there just because we have some room in these bags and I have like five boxes. You get a bar, you get a bar, you get a bar, you get a bar. I still have room, so I'm gonna add these little applesauce pouches. I'll save these for like other kids' parties for their gifts and stick these in here. This one's probably my favorite one because look how cute. It has this mask and this elephant. This is the winner in my eyes, but we won't tell the other kids that. This makes me feel better. I did change. It is the same day, I promise you. I just got to the nail appointment. I think I'm parked illegally, so I'm not sure if this is gonna be a success or not. But here are my before nails. These are my real nails. I just do gel and they are grown out. And again, I just wanna do like a cool design for my daughter's birthday. Am I parked illegally? It's like there's a meter here, but it says bus lane. I'm gonna risk it, I'm gonna risk and it. And these are my after nails. I know this isn't really on a theme for like, 
a jungle to wild party, but they are green and I just really like the checkered print. I was originally gonna do the checkered print on all of them, but I got impatient. But I love them and I am feeling way more put together just by this. Oh. I filled up my cup a little bit too much with tequila, um, but we have a hair appointment. Yeah. She's like a natural level eight. It's very light. I feel like I need it, even though I feel so hungover, I need to do the hair justice and like show it. Show it like I feel really good right now. <laughs> Holy cow, how is it the next day? I am so puffy, so puffy. I did get my eyebrows laminated. I don't know how I feel about it yet. She definitely did a great job, but I can't help but feel like I just look very surprised. Um, and I can't like fill them in yet or anything because you're not supposed to touch them or get them wet. Oh, this feels good though. Okay, we do have to pack because I am going up to my parents' house for like a week before Arrow's birthday. Um, and I have not packed yet <laughs> anything. And I have to pick up Arrow in a couple hours and then we're gonna head over there. So we gotta get, oh, did I go over my eyebrows? So we gotta get it together. We gotta get it together. We put some makeup on, the brows are growing on me. Yes, that is a mess, but it's all birthday prep stuff, so it'll be gone when I come back. And now I'm just trying on outfits to pack. I just do this to make sure that I only bring like items I'm actually going to wear, because I like to pack very minimally. So I'm probably gonna do this set. Car is loaded, we're all ready to go. So let's do this, let's go get Arrow. I, I miss her so much. Okay, Riot, you ready? You're coming with, come on. Are you ready? We're gonna go see Grandma and Grandma. Do, 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 do. Does she? She always does this, she like gets into her seat and then in the second it takes me to walk around, she's like, um, hello, go back in your seat. Yeah, where are we? You want to go outside? You want to go outside? Come on. 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 Come on.